All right, guys, this is Miss Thomas here. I'm going to be do demoing your Day of the Dead art history appropriation project. So I have my art history piece, my reference. It's called The Death of Marat by David. Look how cleverly he signed it in this bottom corner on this wooden box. It is historically very important, not just to art history, but to um, history as well. I'll tell you the story of that painting some other time. I also have my references here that I've printed out of skeletons so I can get some of the anatomy and some inspiration images from Jose Guadalupe Posada so that I can make this feel a little bit more Day of the dead -y if that's the kind of direction I'd like to go in my painting. So uh, this is a hot press, 140 pound watercolor paper. Um, ideally you will get this from me before you start this project. <laughs> we'll see, but uh, ideally you do have it. That's what we're gonna start with first. Regular pencil is totally fine. Mechanical's fine as well. I might go get my mechanical pencil for this. I have my regular eraser. I have a kneaded eraser in case I'd like to use that. And if you don't have a mechanical pencil, this pencil sharpener is your good friend. You want to keep the point of your pencil sharp to get those nice flowy lines. Um, these are two different sizes of pen erasers, click pen erasers. This one is made by Factus. Um, I'm going to be able to do the thing that the YouTubers do. And... Basically, it's a click pen right now. Uh, these we will definitely have in class at some point. I think I was only able to order five this year, but I usually I like to have an entire class set on hand. Um, and then this one is the Mono Zero by Tombow. Um, so this one's even tinier. And since this paper is so small, um, I wanted to give you guys bigger paper for this, but it's not here yet. So, but um, since this paper is so small, something like this can come in really handy dandy. Like I do really love these tools. These are both about $6, so that's $12, $13, and it makes a huge difference in my, my drawing process personally. I really love having these. So um, if, if that's something that's within your budget and you want to push your art a little bit further, I highly recommend them. All right, so you're gonna start out with your sketch for your composition. So I have my reference image of uh, the painting I chose, which is The Death of Marat, right next to me. I'm keeping it light till I get it right. I also have printouts of the skeleton references so that I can, and design and pattern references from Dia de los Muertos, so I can use those while I'm drawing and I don't have to explicitly look at a, um, a computer the entire time because that can get you distracted and less focused and um, and so on. So I'm really kind of, now that I got my general sketch in, now I'm kind of refining a little bit more and figuring out what the anatomy is. So art is the best one of the better like definitions of process in art that i've ever gotten is that it's like right at you're riding the wave between observation and artifice so we're using our observational skills but then we're also using our imagination to use lies to tell the truth i'm marat is not a skeleton i'm kind of having to use my imagination and use my logic and my references to create uh, that image. And I'm also going to try and create some meaning. I'm not exactly sure what the note is going to say. This particular painting, historically, it's about a French revolutionary who was a propagandist. Uh, he was probably d creating some propaganda at this time. And uh, he was murdered by one of the French um, arist aristocratic members who didn't want to see the French Revolution happen. She didn't want a republic. She wanted to keep the monarchy. So she, and this particular person, Marat, had a skin disease, so he would take all these really long baths and create his propaganda while, um, while taking these baths. And so she, the story is that she came in and she stabbed him. 
to death. And so David, who is the master propaganda painter, uh, was also one of these revolutionaries decided to paint him as a martyr, um, dead in his bathtub. And so I'm wondering what I'm going to put on that note, because in the actual painting, the note is from the woman. It's how she got in to uh, c commit the, the crime. And it's kind of a really messed up message. I can't remember the specifics, but it's something like, I have a right to see you because da 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 da. Ha ha, I killed you or something. I can't fully remember, but it's, it's, it's kind of brutal. Um, mine will probably be a little bit more comedic, and as you can tell, you can see in my drawing where things are a little bit more, they're still gestural and sketchy versus where I've started really refining it to make it something else. Please push your imagination, push your boundaries, and see what you can do with this. I also want to encourage you to really refine. That's going to make your inking process a lot easier. The more refined you can get your pencil lines, the finer you can get your ink lines.